again everyone, it's Orange again, back with another video. Welcome to Path to Decency episode 24. This episode isn't too eventful, last week was pretty chill, I suppose. Um, the main stuff that happened was me doing TOA hard, I got stuck on a couple levels and then had to figure out how to get unstuck, and now I'm still sort of stuck, but I haven't worked on progressing in TOA hard. Oh, I forgot to mention, we do have a summon, an Ifrit finally, my third one ever, so I'm going to do that at the end so I can just like say that towards the end, I guess, and then tell you guys what I plan on doing with whatever one I get. So my money's on Theo, that's for no particular reason. You guys probably know I've already gotten two Theos before. I'm not a suspicious person, but I just choose to put my money on Theo if I had to. So currently I'm on TOA Hard 94, which is these monkeys, and I kind of feel like they're kind of like Artemil in a way, where you have to like land stuns the first turn on almost all of them or else you fail. So I got pretty close and what happened was I stunned all of them but two. So a water one and a light one was not stunned and Mav was moving but Mav didn't have his taunt up and he didn't stun the water one or whatever. So the light one moved, and then the water one moved, and I wiped. So I think I can pass this one, but I might just need to try some more until I get good RNG. The first two waves were pretty easy with this team here, so I might try this team or use a different one. Not really sure. So um, in the last week, like I said, mainly just TOA hard, so I'll walk you through like how that went. So on Thursday, I was, so like right after I finished Path to Decency last week recording it, I got stuck on TOA Hard 89, and that was, I think, like the dark level. It was this level. This was not the team that I used. So I was stuck, and then I had this whole plan to use Neil and Michelle. So I have them here. So I had this like whole plan devised to use this cheesy team to beat it because this uh, Neil and Michelle can also be used on 93. This, uh, well, 93 on Lyrith. So I'll show you guys what 90, oh, that's 92, 93. So we have some more dark monsters that um, are easily beaten by this combo. So that was kind of my plan. And on Friday, I decided to build them I farmed awakening materials and skill ups. Well, I sort of, I, I farmed like one skill up for Neil. I had a bunch of a Pikion Priest saved up for just Chloe or Michelle or whatever, because I knew that it would be good to save them. So I used them on Michelle and I got really amazing skill ups on her. So I'm showing you guys the skill ups right now. So I was really excited about that, and then I knew Neil's skill ups were farmable, but that's not as efficient as if you just summon the two-star fairies for her. So I wasn't saving the two-star fairies, but I kind of started to. So I have one to put on her. So I'm still kind of working on Neil's skill ups, but I don't know if I need them because I just- I already passed both levels. Like, I've kind of been telling you guys, some of these floors are just based on rune quality because I have the monsters that I need, sort of, but it just depends on rune quality. So for this floor, I'll show you guys the team that I used. It was this team. So with a team like this, it all just depends on rune quality pretty much as to if you can survive and stuff like that. Skill ups also are kind of important. My Brian doesn't have any, so... That's kind of unfortunate, but it was okay anyways. So, um, skill ups would help on him, but I don't know if it would be amazing or really game changing, I guess. Well, not game changing, but just TOA hard changing. So, um, I'm currently on 94 and I'll probably work on that later. I've just kind of been lazy and haven't worked on it too hard. So, I'll work on this later, hopefully pass it. I think it'll just require RNG. So I got stuck on 89 and I was like, I, I did it so many times, like, I don't know, 15 or 20 times, maybe even more. And I was at the point where I was like, I just need to stop trying. So I uploaded my other TOA hard videos 
and then someone helped me. I think his name was Ewan, and then I said, like, thank you to him, because I think he was the one who got me unstuck from 89. He just recommended a team, and then it worked. I think I tried the team that he recommended once or twice, but it failed, and then I didn't really see clearly that it would have worked. So pretty much in the last week, I've just been sucking at TOA hard. So it always kind of helps when people tell me teams to use, and then they work. Like, that happened a couple months ago. Someone recommended another team for, or not a couple months ago, actually last month on TOA Heart. No, two months ago, I think it was. Not sure. Um, and then I passed the level, so sometimes that's all you need. So I went back to Farming Giants because I had already done it like 30 times and wasted so much energy, and I wasn't really getting anywhere. Um, and I find that when I get tired, I start making like worse decisions. You guys probably do the same thing, so... I'm sure I was stunning that, like, hitting the wrong enemies and stuff and doing suboptimal moves, even though this game is not very hard. I was just sucking at TOA hard. Um, so I farmed some giants, and then you guys know I pulled my Lucian. I told you guys I had, like, 30 summons for him, and it was, like, a really last-minute decision to summon for Lucians, so I didn't record it, so... I put some runes on for world boss, and he sucks. He's level 35. I awakened him. Here are his stats. Nothing too impressive, but I did have kind of like some rage runes laying around, so I just stuck them on him so I had more rune inventory space, and I do need to get rid of some runes because I have like a lot of pretty bad runes. Um, <clears throat> and then I farmed the fairy secret dungeon, the light fairy, like I told you guys my whole Neil strategy, and then I started buying fairies from the shop, which is kind of a waste, but it's all kind of behind me now. I did waste quite a bit of resources, um, to level up and awaken my Michelle and my Neil, but it's behind me. I don't really care that I was a little bit wasteful. Um, I guess if... I guess this is one of the times where I make the incorrect decision to do that rather than knowing that I could have done it, yes, that's pretty much it, or just going forward with trusting that having good rune quality on monsters like Chasun and Briand and that whole deal would make me pass TOA hard. So I didn't really know that, like, I mean, I still don't even know, but I... I've heard that, like, a lot of people just use these monsters, Verge, Hassoon, Brand, and then they pass TOA hard just with rune quality. Um, like, I know a lot of people use that team. In my Aftaros video, I kind of, like, shit-talked to the people who use Brand and just, like, take 10 hours to kill Aftaros, but it is viable, so maybe I should have just trusted in that or done more research or something, but I just kind of went ahead with it. So we'll continue to see how that goes, but once again, like, my brand doesn't have skill ups, so I've never been too confident in going through with that, like, I'm just gonna use Shisun and Briand and Mav and Beretta and Vero and pass every single stage. Yeah, so, um... After that, I EXP boosted. I had one from the event. They give you, like, one from that uh, puzzle event thing. So I used that for 12 hours, and I leveled up my Lucian, my Michelle, and my Neil all to five stars. Um, then, at that point, I had my um, Apikion Priests saved up, and I used them on Michelle. So if I do pull a Chloe here in, like, a couple weeks, that's going to suck. But I don't think it'll actually matter that much. Why am I checking that? Because, um, Chloe kind of only, like, really needs to move on first turn, sort of. Like, I'm not really sure. I don't even know if I'd build mine right away. It kind of depends. Like, skill ups would be good, but I think that's only really necessary for defense. Because if you Chloe double Lucian, it should be over anyways on the first turn. So, um, yeah, I'm going to summon for Chloe in 16 days because I'm going for Chloe and Lucian's and the summoning zone rotations. I'm not buying them from the guild shop, you guys know. So, um, I did then, uh, five star my Michelle with other skill ups or whatever I told you guys. And then at that point, since I was like having like such a bad time in DOA hard and getting stuck on like 89, um, I was debating buying the HP and defense towers, like um, Karanthir said in his video. In my last Path of Decency episode, I told you guys that I was going to go into the 
ancient sword for like arena offense sort of thing and then whenever stuff goes bad then I start you know having doubts and I'm like oh maybe I should go into that crystal altar and the uh, guard stone but I haven't made my decision yet I have 1248 you guys can't quite see because my webcam's in the way but uh, that's how many glory points I have right now, 1,248. So I'm still kind of sitting on it. I honestly don't think it matters too much, but it might because you guys, you if you guys check out my TOA hard videos for this month, um, on 90, Shannon like barely survived a couple times. So I'm not really sure. I think I will decide later and just sit on it. I did get C1 with one refill. I think my defense was the main thing that was lacking. I tried to make a rush hour video, but I, I recorded a rush hour video, um, and then I listened to it, and I was like saying all these things that I thought were kind of incorrect, so I didn't want to post that because I didn't want to do so many edits to it, and I was like, there's like too much incorrect information here. I was mainly like thinking about my defense, sort of, and... I can't really explain it to you guys now, but um, I was talking with one of my friends and he was like suggesting that I change my defense. I don't have it now, but um, I kind of thought that that was a good idea and then like, I didn't really know why, like, because I still haven't really thought about Arena too much, like, I not because I haven't wanted to, but because it hasn't been a problem for me. Like, I, I'm kind of lazy and I only do things when they become a problem, so... You guys probably have heard uh, all the new announcements about uh, live PvP and all the new TOA bosses. Like, there's like three new TOA bosses, maybe. Maybe just two. I'm pretty sure it was three. They're on normal. Um, it's like the Dark Neo Stone Agent or something. And then there's Poseidon and then one other Wind Monkey King. So I didn't really look at those levels too much because I autoed TOA normal, so I used a couple different teams though, so I wouldn't say it's like, it, that's like a necessary thing to tell you guys because I don't want to be like, oh, I can auto it because someone asked like, what team did you use? Well, it was a couple different teams because one of my teams failed and then I had to, you know, put in a different one, but then that team could auto certain levels. So pretty much I don't do stuff until it starts being a problem, so Arena hasn't really been on my mind at all because I haven't needed to do it because I don't feel like I should do arena yet um but now I feel like I kind of should especially because I have a team that's like once I get a mirror how if that may be today hopefully then I can actually do arena offense and then I'll probably start thinking about my defense because back to the whole point um I had to do one refill to get c1 because my defense was sucking and I think that's probably just because of rune quality and maybe even my comp. I think I can improve my comp a little bit. If I at least put Velajul on Will, I think that'll deter a lot of people and make him faster. Um, I'll have to see. I'll probably have to think about it whenever I stop being lazy. But right now, that's what it is because I haven't thought about it. But if you guys have suggestions, let me know. This team is mainly like my anti galleon team sort of because i feel like there's a lot of speed teams that i see out there so that one's not a speed team but uh, that one sort of is so i feel like there's like a lot of these other speed teams and i feel like my defense would be good against them because my defense is so damn tanky and if i had vela jewel on will then it's like i kind of win so i feel like all these teams like well not that one but that's kind of like my thoughts right now, but I'm open to change them because like I said, I don't know too much about Arena, so I can't be like, ugh, you know, I know all this stuff and that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, so the one refill kind of sucked again, but I did get C1, so I used my speed team during rush hour in case you guys like want to recap, so that offense you see right here is pretty much the one that I used all of rush hour. I did um, lose some battles, so I'll show you guys my victory rate and stuff. I did have a strong defense all week, so I did lose some battles midweek, so my victory rate's like not the best, but I think it was at 89% or so. Um, so it was kind of low, but for rush hour itself, I think I did 
maybe, I don't know, I don't, maybe like 17 wings or so, and I lost two of the battles. So for any of you guys who are like looking to get into Conqueror or something, I think this was said before by other people, but it's really bad if you lose real, pretty much any battles at all when you're trying to get into Conqueror. So I think it was mainly my defense that was sucking though. So defense was sucking, TOA hard was sucking. So here is my previous week, 88% victory rate and 11.5 defense success rate. So rank 9,000, once again, pretty low, but I think I kind of narrowed it down to my defense being the problem, and my offense will be fine. Like, the thing is, like, I don't want to spam refills. I probably could get not so close to falling out of C1 if I spammed refills, if once I get my Amir, that sort of thing, because my lag offense is, like, kind of just okay, but I don't want to do that because it's not worth it. Um, Crystal-wise, I guess, because I don't really care about the ranking right now. I'm kind of just worried about crystals because I am still pretty much in mid-game. Um, so this week, we're looking pretty much the same. It was a reset week, so I'm getting less points um, per win because I'm not even Conqueror. So last week, I was Conqueror for like the majority of the week besides on Sunday. I woke up on Sunday and my rank was 10,000, and then the night before it was like 5,000 or something. So that kind of sucked, but I just climbed back up. Um, and then, so if you look at like my best score, I kind of went back and looked at some of my um, previous weeks of like what I ended. And then I figure that probably during non-reset weeks, it's better to have a strong defense. But I think during reset weeks, I'd probably just weaken my defense because I'm probably not going to be in Conquer anyways. Like right now I'm not because everyone kind of like everyone's rank reset so it kind of I don't have the offense to like get back up there and start winning um so that's kind of something to think about and then I I did the math and multiplied like pretty much every week I basically spend about the same amount of swords so you guys can kind of see like my best score was from a long time ago not a long time but maybe a couple months ago and I spent about the same amount of swords as I did last week. So I looked back at my other logs and I realized the same thing. And then I just multiplied, like, I think I did, like, 229 times 5 points each, we'll say. I didn't get 5 points for all of them because, like I said, on Sunday I did fall back down to Fighter 3. So there were some 4 points in there, 4 glory points per win. And then I did, like, 228 times 4 or something like that. And it was less, so... That's something kind of just for me personally to kind of keep track of, and I guess what I want to show you guys is the process that I'm going through, so I don't want to sit here and tell you, you should set a strong defense because it's better. Just learn from how I'm kind of like looking at these things, I guess, and figure it out yourself, so I'm, I'm not really going to say anything like an ultimatum on that yet because it, it'll probably change, or it could change, but that's kind of what I'm thinking now about the non-reset week thing. Um, then after rush hour, I don't know if it was right after or the day after, but I managed to pass TOA hard 89 and I passed 90. 90 took a couple tries, I think, I think maybe five or so. So I have the video of both of those on my channel and then I'm making a couple more today because I did get up to 94. So I have a couple more to make. Um, and then I also worked on some other monsters, so overall the week was pretty much TOA hard and working on some other monsters. I went ahead and six-starred my Thrain because he was pretty much the only good option I had, because I did use him quite a bit on those um, levels that I was stuck on, the dark levels, so like the Leo Ragdoll level, and then the Joltan Kume level. I did use him quite a bit, so he was pretty much the only option, and I six-starred him. I leveled up my Lisa to five stars. I just have some of these other monsters out here, like I have Kona and Megan out here because I was kind of thinking about them, and then I was also kind of thinking about Lucian, so I think Lucian will be my next six-star. I have enough fodder for it, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So my hope is that I pull a mirror right now, then I six star Lucian and level up a mirror with him, and then six star a mirror next. But we'll see. So that's kind of 
setup to go. If I don't pull in a mirror, I will probably just bank all this fodder and then wait to six star Lucian later whenever I need to because I don't need him six star now and he looks kind of like the only really good option to me. Some of you watching may think like six star Tyron, six star Shimate because they're really good, but I don't really see a need to because they're not on my defense and on offense it doesn't really matter if they're six star or not because their runes are bad so the damage wouldn't really matter. So, and I don't have a mirror, so it's kind of like, ugh, I have like an awkward offense. Um, and then another sort of fun thing, um, some of you guys may know Childish. He has a YouTube channel for Summoner's War. I did a video with him a couple days ago, so it's going to air on Sunday for Sunday Fun Day. We had like kind of a fun challenge we did, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I don't know if he would want me to like give spoilers on how the challenge, like what the challenge is and stuff. So tune in for that. It may be kind of like cringy because I was kind of nervous and like my answers might be weird, so don't crucify me. I hope it'll turn out well. We'll see. Um, and then I guess I'll talk, um, we're almost towards the end. I just have like two small things to say. Uh, there's a new event coming out. It's like the, uh, charity event or whatever. I don't think I'll hit that event too hard. I think everyone was like kind of pissed off that it was a bad event for us, but if come to us is trying to do something good for charity, I guess like I'll kind of try, but I don't know if I'll try like super hard. You get, um, you help contribute by like giving your friends social points and using your friends rep monsters and using them their monsters in raids like your raid help or whatever i don't do that sort of thing like and even when i exp boost i don't have that many reps who can actually like help me because i have friends who have weird reps or bad reps or whatever so I don't really know about that event, but I don't really care about it. And then also, like, all the live PvP stuff, I haven't really thought about it because it doesn't really affect me, I don't think. Like, I don't know, I'm just not really that excited for it. Um, I'm interested to see how it changes the game, but I'll probably just kind of be, like, a bystander and just, hmm, see how things go. And then let everyone play around with it, and I'll just figure out stuff from what they say about it. So, um, if live PvP does turn into, like, giving out of, um, rewards and stuff like that, then I probably will partake. So, I think that's it for this episode. Um, in the next week, I'm just going to be working on TOA hard. If I pull a mirror right now, which my money's on Theo, but I want an Amir, then I'll be working on a mirror and working on my arena offense. So TOA hard and then back to farming runes. I don't have that many crystals and I haven't really been playing too much. So, I mean, I have been playing quite a bit though. So um, yeah, just rune farming like always. So I think that's it. Um, also, um, the July 2nd streaming thing. So we have one more episode of Path of Decency before the live event or yeah, the live event. So I haven't really actually decided if I'm going to stream. I did order a laptop cooling pad thing, but streaming isn't really like my thing. I would like to interact with you guys, but I'm kind of like, eh, do I really want to do that? And then Reefy's going to be streaming it. So then we'd kind of be like competing for viewers, which I don't think is a good thing. So maybe I'll just be recording my video, but also be like in uh, discord with him and then I'll just kind of, like, be on his stream. So I kind of feel like that'd be, like, the more courteous thing to do, just, like, let him have all the viewers rather than, like, me stealing a couple. So I'm still kind of thinking about it, though. So um, that the details for that, so the mass summoning session is on Saturday. Oh, wait, no, yeah, Saturday, July 2nd, and it's going to be in Channel 5 at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So that's server time. You can figure out what server time is by going to your chat and it's in the corner there. So 2 p.m. would be 1400. <laughs> and you can also check Ellie and she'll tell you. My Ellie is over here because I do not like her. Shut up. How do I figure out what the time is? Okay, it says it up there. It's super big. I did change her outfit. I used to have her in this one because her 
the sorcerer one's kind of, like, annoying. I don't know. I don't like Elia too much, so she's, um, getting neglected over there. Okay, now for the summon. So, um, channel 5, July 2nd, 2 p.m. PDT. Uh, oh, and then let me hype it up. So, right now I have, I forgot to say, how many mysticals. I don't remember what it was in the last video, but right now we're at 33 mysticals, almost two light and dark scrolls plus four, so that'll be six, hopefully. I'm pretty sure it'll happen because I usually get pieces. So it should be six light and dark scrolls, maybe a legendary summon, I don't know, and then hopefully two legendary scrolls once I beat TOA hard, which I need to get in gear because I only have like a week left until the summoning session. So we're gonna go ahead and do this if right now, so wish me luck. Oh, why? Oh, hold on, hold on, okay. Oh, okay, did I just totally not show you guys? I'll scroll through this real quick because I minimized everything on accident, so I think my mirroring app was, like, frozen, so I'll show you guys what I have right now. Okay, so now the Ifrit. I was sitting here wondering why are Ifrit so cheap to summon? Everything's usually, like, 10,000. Ifrit's kind of, like, a big deal. So, I gotta take a breath because I know this is going to be another Theo. Okay, here we go, everyone. Let's hope for a red one or a yellow one. I th actually, I, I'm, okay, my gut is telling me it's going to be red. So, make your guess. Here we go. I'm nervous. Not a Theo. A red one? Okay, a red one's fine. Dang, that boy is sunburned. Alright, so, let's go ahead and lock him in. So that's the third one, and we get Tessarian. Yay! I'm actually kind of happy. So, um, will I build him? I don't know. Um, I know he's used for TOA hard, so I probably could do, like, a tank build or something. Like, I could just... Okay, this is going to... This is, like, my initial thoughts. So my initial thought is, like, throw some, like, weird shit on him and make him tanky enough for TOA hard to be used for certain levels, but it may not work out that way because if I build him tanky, then he may- I, my whole team may lack damage. Like, I'm not even sure what you're supposed to use. Are you supposed to use, like, Beretta, Vero, Tessarian, something something for Lyrith? I'll have to look into it, so my thoughts are to build him tanky, but I don't know how he's supposed to be built for TOA hard. So, um... I'm not really sure, and then I could also use him against Pernas, finally, and Theos, but against Theos I usually just bring my own because I have Vero, Theo, Chasun, so I usually just bring my own stuff against other Theos, but I could use this against Pernas, because Pernas, I don't really have an answer to Pernas at all, so he could be an answer. Um, we'll have to see. So, I'm happy. Did I get any GZs? Let me... Let me ask, because that's inappropriate. I didn't get my GZ. Okay, so five more weeks till the next one, um, and then I am going to summon for Chloe later, so just look ahead for the um, live summoning session. So definitely check out Reefy's stream, though, because he's definitely going to be streaming it. So go to his stream, and then I'll tell you guys next week what I plan on doing, so stay tuned. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys later.